Hello, everybody. Good morning. Happy Saturday. R.W. It's good to see you, Larry, Tina, Malji, Breakaway, Bill, uh, Frias. Tammy is awake now. Jackie Flick, Sassy, BT, huge thank yous, Walter, huge thank you. Thank you, BT. Very, very kind. Hello, Nancy. We're all sure we are so close. So I just get a shirt for the next uh, couple of days or so. Hopefully we won't need it that long. It just has a yo-yo on it, a golden yo-yo. Hello, Jay and Amy. Hello, Rusted Gia. What's up, Trey White, Grumpy, Spaz, Iris, Jill. Hello, Mary Ann. Hello, Love and Light. Can anyone explain to me why Amazon is taking over control of my Android phone? MTV. Marketing. Got to feed the corporate machine. Hello in Mississippi. Hello, Roger. Let's see. My life, my every moment, my destiny. It's all in your hands. So I know... You can deliver me from those who persecute me relentlessly. We serve a mighty God. The man, the myth, the only. Probably a little restricting to say man, though, right? Uh, hello, Mel. Hello, Judy. Hello, Rachel, Rodney, Melinda, Angela in Montana. Dawn, thank you very much, Dawn Flores. Thank you very much. I haven't seen the super sticker pop up, but I saw it on the on the top. Hello, Pearl in Texas. I'm way behind. Let's try to catch up. Let's get ads done and uh, dive into news for those that have to get on with their weekend or have plans. What was that? Where can we get the whiskey and wisdom t-shirts? Poor Kukla. I think she's planning on another batch. You email her at MZ Tie Dyes. Uh, Kukla, I know you got to be hiding in there somewhere. Sound off. Big Island of Hawaii. Hello, Big Island of Hawaii. Let's see. On my husband's iPad, Jan of Daytona, Florida. Birthday number 71. Happy birthday, Jan. Low down on the floating things in the sky. We'll talk about it in just a few minutes. A lot of back and forth going on on that front right now. Uh, <clears throat> let's see. Which one do oh, we'll do this one first. Over 20 million American households are behind the utility bills. A new report reveals that means one out of every six homes cannot afford their payments and are behind an average of $788, owing $16 billion. Experts predict that we'll see a sea of shutoffs soon as electricity costs continue to rise. Vital to fight back against these greedy utility companies, and you can easily do that with this amazing new device. Patented technology provides your home with a smooth, stable electrical current that leads to an increase in efficiency, reduction in dirty electricity, less wasted power, can help lower energy bills. Don't wait. Get it now for 50% off by going to SavePowerBills.com. That is SavePowerBills.com. Or simply clicking more at the bottom of this video in the description box and click the link in the description. Best part is you have 60 days to change your mind if you aren't fully satisfied. Order now. Thank me later. I'm trying to keep up with you guys. You're screaming. Let's see. Is CBDC going to be offered at the same time as the RV? I heard that today and don't see how that could happen. Uh, Deb, if we get a CBDC, we kind of lost the uh, this round of the battle. We will win. Um, no part of me is worried about that one. Central bank digital currency simply isn't ready, and we are getting too close to that commodity reset. It's just not something I am worrying about right now. I'm keeping my eye on it, but I'm just not worried. Pamela Black, thank you, Pamela. Thank you, Elaine, for that super sticker. I'm going to try to keep up. I like to highlight them when they pop up, just to give credit where credit is due when you guys do that, because it is so kind, but I don't always catch them. The balloons weren't a part of the optics, the white hats would have neutralized them by now. And if they were truly spy balloons, do you think the U.S. military, with all of its advanced weaponry, um, space lasers, uh, laser mounted uh, on aircraft, they could just put a small hole in it? Um, 
does anybody buy does anybody buy why they're still floating around i mean our government doesn't care if it drops a small balloon on top of somebody's house let's be honest i mean they're willing to shoot down an entire plane tires off of it when it's landing just to get to julian assange um, they're willing to cause massive wars in uh, regions that will lead to hundreds of thousands of deaths because they're trying to hide something politically. They're willing to bomb aspirin factories because they got a blowjob in the uh, White House. Hey, does anybody buy they're not shooting that thing down because they're worried it might fall on somebody? Come on. We're not that stupid. Let's see, Mark. Do we RV before Nasera? Same time. I'm hearing same time, Bearded Patriot, that it starts immediately, but that it will take months for Nasera to completely play out. That's what I've been told. Let's see. My son's girlfriend's birthday today. Tanvi, her name, 26. Happy birthday, Tanvi. Let's see, Mitchell K. Crest just saw a video about 1944, how the Japanese sent, or was it them, floating objects that somehow mysteriously exploded in the air, testing the waters before the invasion of Pearl Harbor. Yeah, balloons everywhere. Is China perhaps preparing, or is it the U.S. blaming China and us doing it ourselves so we can keep an eye on where everybody's moving? It's the Mark Z balloons. Right, Thomas? Just saying. Just saying. Mary, thank you. Let's see. She said to watch for Monday and end of the Chinese New Year and elders back to work. Um, why is CE not making any sense to me, Mary? Charlie, some jazz. I don't know. Somebody will, somebody will count me in. <laughs> Lynn Balloons are counting the cattle. Mama's 78th birthday tomorrow, February 5th. Roxanne's Mama, 78. All right. Happy birthday, Mama. Sleeping with Mark Z and balloons. This is James. This is uh, you You caught on. This is, this is my way of wooing all of the ladies in the world around the globe. So I have a place these balloons uh, way up in the air, and I'm trying to figure out how to make rain down, rain down chocolates and flowers as, as well next. Hello, Danny. I'm still, Danny, you're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> Saw somebody, somebody something 20th birthday, and then it was gone. Oh, she's referencing Charlie Ward. Got you. No, the chat is flying. Kukla, it's good to see you. I actually saw a chat there for about two seconds. Son-in-law's 28th. Kate's son-in-law. Happy birthday. All right, let's do one more ad, and then we should have um, an opportunity to dive into uh, news, meaning the Twitch people should be watching them right now as well. Red alert. Big tech and government have been caught time and time again tracking what you do and where you visit on the Internet. Although you may tell yourself, I don't care, I don't do anything wrong. Don't worry, they'll find something to use against you. When someone wants to find dirt, best believe they will. That's why tens of thousands of Americans connect to the internet with Virtual Shield VPN to help prevent praying eyes from seeing their personal browsing activities. It includes a strict no-log policy, fast, reliable, secure network, and the best free trial I've ever seen. Not to mention the fact that Virtual Shield is U.S.-based Uses military-grade encryption, has exceptional speeds. Even right now, I have Virtual Shield running in the background 24-7 on my computer and cell phone. Give your personal data the protection it needs with a free 60-day trial and 67% off for life. Virtual Shield subscription during their limited time. Simply special simply by going to virtualshield.com forward slash Mark Z or clicking the link in the description below. You may have to hit the more button, guys. Uh, depending on what platform you're using. All right. Nader lit it up yesterday, guys. Lit it up, including the singing. We're going to dive into, uh, like, we're just, because he, a, a number of them, some interesting ones. Uh, I only put this first one up because of the uh, fun. He's having uh, a little back and forth between him and Pimpy there. 
uh, but I enjoyed it because he's smiling. He says, I'm smiling because I know something. In other words, he already knows the answer. Thought this was great. Uh, go check out Nader. Hit subscribe, like for him. Uh, another one, just him singing in the middle of the evening last night, a late one. Fantastic, because he said when he was singing, uh, it was go, right? He's excited because it's uh, great news. And I am getting exceptional news out of Iraq myself over the uh, this weekend. If I were one or two more verifications away in that vetting process, I probably would have already come on and uh, shown you the gold shirt, even if we didn't have redemption centers, because I feel like it is that close. The news has been just phenomenal out of Iraq proper and the region. Um, now they're saying 129 dinar to a Dakar. I'm not certain what a Dakar is. Uh, I'm still hearing above $3 for that rate compared to the U.S. dollar, but there is a whole heck of a lot of yo-yoing going on, and they're throwing different rates at you all over the board. And remember, guys, they're doing it on purpose. They need to do that. It's all part of the smoke and mirrors that go along with a change, a major change in currency values. I think they're hiding this one right out in the open right now. Uh, rate is the question at this point. Rate and how many days off we are. Uh, the news has been really good. Redemption folks have not been called in yet. At least my contacts have not been called in yet. Uh, still very hopeful. Um, I think it's probably more likely that they will have a very long week this coming week. I'm hoping and praying. Nobody knows, but the news is phenomenal right now. Just fantastic. Uh, it's making it tough. The excitement level. Also, before I can forget, Monday's podcast is going to be at 12 noon instead of 10 a.m. So I can make that airport run in the morning to take my friends back to fly away. Um, so I just wanted to make certain I said that. I'll make a point to tweet it out tomorrow as a reminder. And then I got to let um, Kukula know so she can put it in Telegram rooms. CMKX news, nothing special for CMKX today. Still waiting for all of us to go at once. You know, and I'm not supposed to refer to it. It's funny. They, they don't want us referring to, for some reason, but nobody has given me a decent reason why. Um, we're not supposed to refer to freedom, um, some of the prosperity packages, Omega, uh, CMK expert, all, all those settlement things and prosperity funds. We're just supposed to call them, I don't know, they came up with a new term, projects or something like that. Some chatter from a number of different sources, all of it coming via, at one point or another, the Reno area. Uh, I don't know why, but we're supposed to start just referring to them as, uh, what was the word they came up with, um, projects or something like that. I'll, I'll try to remember the term they want us to use for some reason. Didn't make much sense to me. I don't mind calling about what they are. Who it? Yeah, who? I just answered that one. Folks in uh, the upper level of the exchange folks in Reno. Who and what is CMKX? Again, CMKX is the stock ticker for CMKM Diamonds. Uh, seeing if I still had that one. No, I don't have that one pulled up. Uh, you can... I'll look up YouTube, give you a link. You should watch it, and then you can answer your own question on that front. One of the most successful lawsuits against the SEC and the U.S. government, won by Al Hodges as attorney. Don't need that one. Hi, right, here we are. There we go, CMKM Diamond Short. We're going to share it. In your chat, you're going to see a link. If you want to know what CMKX is, CMKM, watch it, and that'll answer your question. Bumble, I was sitting here thinking I need to trim the beard. John, if that balloon goes over Texas, it's toast. Link for Nader doesn't work. What link for Nader doesn't work? I didn't drop a link for Nader. Did somebody drop a link for Nader? Do you want me to drop a link for Nader? Which one? Let's 
Cindy, what's my take on XLM and XRP? I think they're going to be fantastic winners. I don't think they are going to be the anytime quickly, the massive wealth makers that many think. Uh, I'm a fan. I'm a fan of the technology. I'm a fan of what they're doing with it and the backbone uh, that they're using for it for uh, transfers. Um, big fan. Uh, I don't think it's going for a million in XRP and a million in XLM. Uh, maybe someday, you know, 100 years in the future, uh, it might get way up there. I am a fan. Absolutely 100% a fan. I think it is going to be, I think it's going to carry a lot of people to some reasonable amounts of wealth. Do you think the places would RV during an information blackout possible? Internet phones down. How would we know? Wasteland, I've been guaranteed that they will not take down our internet worldwide, that they will only take it down in pieces and parts as they do cleanups. In other words, they may need to take it down in an area for a few hours, maybe right before an operation, during an operation, um, and then restore it. Too much of our backbone, including medical records, emergency things, 911 calls, too much of the world relies on that VOIP protocol and it would cause way too many deaths for them just to shut it down. So I'm told not to worry about that, that they will take over many social uh, media and uh, media sites, social media sites, etc., cetera, um, or take control of, but not to worry about them taking the entire internet down. So in other words, you're still going to find out and you're still going to be able to set an appointment. Don't see CMKX in Ameritrade. You will not see it. It is not trading now. It trades off market now because of the lawsuit. I'll see if we can talk Sheila into a special in the next uh, couple of days just on CMKX and what it is. No, no news specific to the dong. Sharon, will we have two appointments the RV? It totally depends if you want one with a banker wealth manager. You may not want one. You may feel perfectly comfortable. You may have already lined up your own. You may want to manage your own wealth. You may have already hired a company. So not, no, not necessarily. Uh, one is just to get it into the bank. And then they would love for you to come back and use their wealth management so that they can continue to make some profit off of you um, down the road. Uh, so it's up to you whether you want to. Three, four, totally up to you. One's the only one that is necessary. Unless you're doing projects, then you're going to have lots of ongoing things for years. Uh, my father-in-law had CMKX, but he's passed. Anything to do, Mark? I'm not quite certain what that mechanism is. Uh, I would go to transferonline.com. That is who houses uh, our certs and manages, keeps the information up to date. And I would, uh, if they still have the physical certs, that's going to be important. Uh, the paper that goes with it, uh, then uh, I would go on, make sure you update any information. Everyone's going to be a little bit of a tricky one. Anybody in here have to deal with this yet with the passing of somebody? Did you have to use an attorney to change it on transfer in line? Did you just update the contact information for that person to yours, even if you can't, you know, change it on the, on the cert who owns it? Karen, you can't post a uh, website. We had to block it because we were uh, getting uh, warnings because of the porn bots posting their web links. So we had to disable web links for all but um, for all but moderators because we get held responsible when people do that for whatever reason. It's kind of soup and silly if we believe in the First Amendment, right? Hawk, what do I think in timing? one to two weeks max before we are over the uh, threshold. That's what I think timing wise. And the news is just continues to be off the chain. Sorry about that, guys. I ate beans last night. No, that was a motorcycle going by. It was my daughter Sam's birthday yesterday. Missed you yesterday. Had to go to the dentist. Razgold, so sorry to hear that, but happy birthday to Sam. Still hearing 29 currencies going at once. Yes, Michael. I am still expecting uh, meaningful changes in at least 29 currencies when it goes. It's screaming past. <laughs> Motorcade. They're on the way to Mr. C's. 
Mr. C, I have spoken, well, texted this morning. He has not been paid yet. Jill, never thought America would allow a foreign country to invade our airspace like this. Thoughts? Well, we invade theirs all the time. Uh, two, I'm not certain I buy. This is a bunch of Chinese balloons. Now, it could be. They could be sending them up there and um, uh, flying them all over the world in preparation to see if the world is ready for a massive offensive now, supposedly, when it crossed over Montana, et cetera, North Dakota, that whole area, it crossed over three, uh, our three largest uh, nuclear missile silo areas in the country. A couple things on that, guys. We have dozens of nuclear silo sites around the country hidden. Um, they, they tell you about the three big ones because it's easier. That's where all your eyes are on. Trust me, they have... Far more than that uh, here and there, including mobile technology, where it is simply hidden or on the move constantly. Uh, for anybody that's uh, buying, that they were spying just on those three facilities, um, you should probably do something other than watch uh, uh, CBS and NBC and ABC and CNN. Yeah, all those things. Um, <clears throat> I'm still trying to figure out what, I'm thinking on all of them. Uh, now they have one that is flying over Costa Rica and then going to be coming up through the Gulf, supposedly. Chinese have satellites that already map all these things, already take pictures of all these things. They don't need they don't need a balloon flying over them. A balloon that while it, it was capable of changing directions to me, I don't know. It, this thing to me, because of the timing, screams of its own version of a false flag. What do you think? I mean, like, honestly, with our government, what is your gut telling you? I don't trust anything that comes out of their mouths, period, anymore. They have broken that trust. They have shattered it. Um, it's not me being a conspiracy theorist. It's me uh, embracing the fact that they have shattered it. It is their fault. They're the, they're the cheating spouse in this relationship. It's a big part. It's, it's ours. Blame in China. That's my that's my choice is freedom. That's what I think. Sergio was the balloon ribbed. Uh, a wake up farce, false flag, or is it just trying to distract us from? Uh, I don't know. Top secret documents that just continue to be found everywhere, including you know, uh, um, it, you know, in Walmart on the shelf. Just kidding on that one. I just don't buy it. And then you look at the timing. It just, it doesn't make any sense. Hey, what all have we had now as this uh, administration has become more and more troubled? Uh, the jobs report comes out showing, you know, added 600,000. They were expecting less than 200,000 added. Everything is peachy. Meanwhile, we're seeing massive layoffs, 440% uh, increase just in the first month of, month and what, month of the year. When it first got close and we uh, got the release on so much of the information from Russia and Twitter drops, Damar Hamlin drops. Uh, when it looks like uh, we send tanks to the Ukraine and we need to distract from that and finding more top secret documents, what happens? Chinese spy balloons. Every time you turn around, whenever there is a big story that can uh, derail even in the modern, excuse me, in the popular press, whatever you want to call that thing, or mainstream, suddenly a distraction comes out. I just can't imagine more people are not clued into that. It's a distraction, total distraction. All right, let's rip through this so we can get uh, spend some time with the guru fellas. I'm looking forward to it. We had them singing. We had the story here where Iraq parallels. This is the meetings in Turkey. Fantastic stuff coming out of that because it's still in the world news that they are restoring and changing their value didn't give us a date but it certainly uh let us know in other uh, regions and areas and other news agencies that it is absolutely 100 percent something that they are actively working on thank you uh ripple thank you ripple that is joseph david elam at gmail.com if you guys are trying to pick out what that email is U.S. employers cut 102,000 jobs in January, 440% jump from the same time a year ago. Tech wrecks spurred layoffs. 
as experts warn we're on the other side of the hiring frenzy. It continues to happen. Meanwhile, they're trying to convince you that everybody has a job. We're seeing a complete meltdown in the mortgage industry, the building industry. But uh, <laughs> here's a close up. It's a balloon with Chinese takeout. Have you guys seen some of the memes where it's like Eric Swalwell and uh, Fang Fang loves you and they're posting them. It's his, it's his balloons for Valentine's. Absolutely. Trier, that was great. Great. Let's see. Cabal Loan Company, I still have to work for laying off. They call it Project Transform. CEO was at Davos and a proud member of the WEF. Everything's great, but these companies that were there are laying off people. So I guess everything's not great. Mixed signals. These 86 Democrats voted against condemning socialism. Now, this one surprised me. Not that 86 voted against it. Uh, it's that as many Democrats that voted for this resolution, I'm talking 109 Democrats in the House uh, voted for the resolution that uh, forces everybody to publicly condemn that will force everybody to give their take on socialism. So 109 Democrats jumped ship. Now, quite a few of them just abstained or voted or just said absent. I mean, you know, refused or just voted present on this one because they didn't want to go on the record one way or the other. And uh, as you've heard us mention, guys, this is a time for choosing. You don't get to sit any on the fence any longer. Uh, and quite a number just outright voted against it, especially the squad, because Let's be honest. They believe in socialism. They believe in communism. They think uh, they think it just has never been done properly, and somehow it's going to magically work. Uh, I guess this is kind of like maybe this will be the Lucky Charms time. Maybe there's a little leprechaun, and it's just going to suddenly start working, even though it's never worked before. Power corrupts. Absolute power corrupts. Absolutely. In order to have a socialist government, you have to have control concentrated in one area. It is a tale as old as time. It's human nature. It's not going to change. Not till the good Lord himself comes down and takes over. Second Chinese surveillance balloon flying over Latin America. Yeah, supposedly the balloon's getting close to uh, North Carolina now. I guess they are trying to see whether I am indeed there or not there. What will happen to the United States Postal Service after the fall? Uh, they'll still be there. They'll still serve the purpose. We still need to get the mail. Will there be quite a bit of shakeup and how things work there and some of the politics? Uh, absolutely. Will it be modernized? Yep. But it'll still be there. So if you are a uh, postal employee, don't fear that you're suddenly going to be unemployed. What can we expect on taxes? I still don't believe we're going to take any tax hit on it personally. I mean, what happens now if you go trade in a currency? You're just exchanging one modem of exchange for another modem exchange. I guess if you go in and say, hey, I just made all this money. This was the greatest investment in my life or something like that. They might be able to try, uh, but I, I'm still told that it is covered under treaty and not taxed. I hope it's accurate to be safe though, guys. I did, I, um, how, what's the word I'm uh, looking for here? I cushioned the fall rather than spend thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars creating all of these great, great um, trusts and corporations and in this state and that state and having to maintain them. I just spent money and bought extra currency so I can pay them with their money if there is one. And if not, it leaves me that much more to do great things and help people with. That's how I dealt with that one. All right, we got to keep running. Oh, we don't have much more to go before we get to start having some fun. Inside the secret government meeting on COVID-19 natural immunity. They sat down, just four doctors, and decided for the world whether they were going to count that or not count uh, natural immunity. Uh, two of the doctors said natural immunity should absolutely count instead of taking lollipops and all of the mandates, or should at least count partially, meaning if you've had it, you should only have to have one dose instead of extra doses. Uh, one felt like it should just be completely replaced. Two of them, one of them being Anthony Fauci, of course, felt like, ha, ha, no, ha, ha, we get to make the money. We've got to uh, give you the shot uh, or the whole world will end. Uh, but it is, it shows you the extreme arrogance. And this is one of the problems with socialism is that concentration of power. 
So it did not allow for any debate or scientific debate between real experts. Not saying that the people sounding off or in were not uh, at least somewhat qualified to be talking about it. There were just other people around the world, many, many other doctors and scientists around the world that were eminently more qualified to be having the discussion and uh, greatly disagreed. So in a nutshell, you had some bureaucratic uh, scientists and doctors making decisions for all of us. Uh, and not, although I shouldn't say that they did. I mean, the discussion was made about how superior natural immunity is. They just chose to ignore it. That was their decision. That's the arrogance is the part that drives me nuts. The obscene arrogance in the how they made their decisions. Controls control is absolute control. Do I think the Boulevard could be a dark horse? Absolutely, Charlie. My problem is I am just not absolutely convinced that it all goes at once because of the political things going on in Venezuela. So it's not one I want to count on. To me, it is an extra bonus one that was totally worth the uh, totally worth the roll of the dice. That's the way I look at Boulevard. <laughs> bearded, I tell you what, <laughs> bearded. I'll use some of that extra currency rather than give it to you for a lovely vacation for us all. If we don't have to pay taxes on it, a massive soiree. Let's see, you sure the balloon isn't looking for Mr. C so he can put in the numbers? It could only wish I can't wait to start helping people. Tony, I'm with you. I cannot wait to start helping people. Oh, nice goats you got there in the picture. And then it's screaming. Will there be a charge for gifting money instead of currency supervillain under our current taxes? Yes, if you gave too much, it would be more effective for you to give them the currency because of what you paid for it. And then let them do it. But for me, if our tax structure doesn't change, then we're not really winning. If our tax structure changes, you can give them whatever. You, you're going to have to make that decision. Uh, for me, my children have currency that they can turn in. Uh, Big Craig, I'm still being told that there's going to be a list of projects you can choose. But that higher rate, remember, that higher rate, none of it goes into your pocket. None of the extra goes in or increase is what I am told goes into your pocket. It, uh, that extra would go to the humanitarian. Uh, Mr. Broken Silence, I am not looking for Ghana's currency to be in the first basket. I'm told most of the uh, African and Central African, Ghana, um, CIFAs, etc., is going to adjust over time and won't be in the first basket. Well, only one basket, but won't go at the time of the first basket. It will adjust over six months, a year, somewhere in there. But I do consider the Ghana shilling to be a, a great winner. I mean, you look at their rare earth minerals, you look at their gold fields, it is way undervalued. Jay and Amy. I'm still being told that they're going to be handled like a bond, but there's no humanitarian portion to the agro check. I hope it's accurate. Uh, Jay, um, still have those sources that are just absolutely convinced the agros are going to be awesome. I picked some up again. They were cheap. It was worth the gamble. I would not put the only one right now. I would put all of my or I shouldn't even say that because this is not don't take this as financial advice. This is me personally. I have the most confidence in the Iraqi dinar. The fundamentals are there. It was reduced. It'll go back up. It has to. Um, the country's doing too well. They're going to the top of the uh, charts in the region. I mean, there's everything Everything they're telling us to uh, fully expect that one uh, in the real world news, not just in our hopeful white hat cabal RV world. Uh, so, you know, if I had to pick one, I'm going to take it first. If I had to pick another one, it is going to be the Dong second. Then I really do like Indonesia, many of the other currencies, Venezuela's in because it has the potential. The upside is worth, to me, is so much exponentially higher than the, any downside. The downside is I got cool looking wallpaper that I only spent, you know, 200 bucks on. 
um, that'll tell a great story one day. That's my thoughts on how I look at the different currencies. If I had to pick one, I'm going to go with the dinar first. Not to say that some of the others won't be worth more dark uh, horses, all those. I'm just telling you, I think the one that has the best fundamentals for an absolute guarantee in our lifetime and soon. Oh, Venezuela or Venezuelan Boulevard or Zim. It's uh, not not two. Yeah, those are two separate things. Just came across a news alert. Chinese balloon found flying over Asheville, North Carolina. Currently, I'll forward site after podcast. I think it's our government doing all this. That's why we don't shoot them down. Want to deceive the American people to thinking China trying to start a war. But since we are broke, it's our own government wanting war to gain money. We go to war to fund our country's expenses. Sad but true. K. Chris, that doesn't surprise me. K. Chris, um, uh, Harold hit me up this morning to let me know that it was flying over North Carolina. Ah, so it's a. Is it just mean it's a separate balloon that's now over North Carolina, or did the one suddenly take a more southerly route from Montana, North Dakota, all those things, and dip on down? Ram, good to see you. Balloon equals satellites. I'm just, uh, I'm enjoying what you guys are saying. Uh, Dinar, data guy said already RV'd. William. How do I say that one without getting people too worked up? I think that's accurate based on what I'm getting out of Iraq right now. I think that trigger has literally already been pulled, was pulled just over the last um, day or two. And we will hear it announced here soon. That's what I think is happening. I totally reserve the right to be wrong. It happens, and I'll admit when I am. Um, but I am, I'm, I'm some kind of excited right now. I am doing my level best not to be giddy so I can keep everybody calm just in case for whatever reason it drags days longer, whatever. I don't want anybody jumping off a bridge, but I am super excited. Diane, I don't know where a nurse can go yet to get training on med beds, but I've heard they are going to offer it. Susan said, I heard a balloon was shot down over Missouri. Every redneck in the world out there going, I got this one. <laughs> Watch this. Of course, the shell wouldn't reach that high because of its height, but it's that whole gravity thing. Certainly would be fun. Tommy, Joe's been strapping top security documents to balloons to hide the evidence. <laughs> he pretend they were having a uh, party for one of the grandkids or the neighbor's kid that he liked to sniff. Tying information to it and sending it adrift from the party. Uh, let's see. Mark, please say Kukla Prayer. I will look for it. Guys, the uh, chat moves at such a mad dash that uh, finding it might be difficult. I'll try, though. Dash, Bert, totally ignoring you. What do you know, sir? Uh, if you don't know, the true Silverado is friends with the Brunson brothers in real life. He is uh, who brought, who got Loy, and now Loy and I text, go back and forth. Super world-class guy. Love him to death. Just, I mean, quality human being. Um, where are the arrests? We don't expect them at this point until the RV goes. I think the arrests will start maybe two hours tops before the RV kicks in. Because they're going to want them mad dash scrambling. They're also going to want them not to know who's next so that they are busy looking over their shoulder or running. They're flushing the rats, I think. I'm looking for those to start uh, in in conjunction with, not before. I'm not looking for arrests to start uh, now and 10 days, two days later. I think that's too much of a warning. Uh, I think they will save that, and it will be one massive movement to round up and round up quickly. That's what I was told to expect, and it's what makes the most sense to me. Ah, Kukla's prayer. Thank you, Kate Kress. Father, I will not be anxious about anything instead. In every, in every situation, by prayer and petition with thanksgiving, I will present my request to you. I will not let fear or worry consume my life. Instead, I will wait patiently for your peace. The peace that comes from you transcends all understanding and will guard my heart and my mind. I thank you in advance for allowing me to feel peace and remain patient. In your name I pray. Amen. Amen. That's a good one. Kukla is very gifted on the uh, prayer side. That's for certain.
Pepito, I'm not starting to understand your rule of three, but am I absolutely convinced it is going as well? Now, William, yeah, I have been saying two weeks for a while now because I, I think we're in that window. But like I've said before, nobody knows the exact timing. We are guessing based on the information we are getting. Yeah, right, Charlene? I'm sure Space Force is on top of any threat to our national security balloons or otherwise. Guys, if they were worried about them, they'd already be out of the sky. They wouldn't have told us about them. They wouldn't have made the press. Not unless they shot one down that landed in the Mall of America. They would not have said crap to us about it. They would have buried that completely. If they did not want the panic or the chatter, they would not have said anything. Big Craig. So the actor known as Biden does not have to be out of office before we see the RV. Obviously not. No, he does not have to be. He will go out, it's my understanding, along with the RV. Same time. That's what I'm told. Uh, yeah, if it happens, if it truly happens, guys, you'll see me. I'll be coming rushing back. Uh, I doubt this thing could go, and I couldn't be somewhere to broadcast within the hour if it goes, whether it's from my cell phone and only on Twitch, whether it's only on YouTube mobile, I would be screaming. D has a low. Last time he was really played, yo, yo yo's, man, those yo yo masters are something. All right, let's sing happy birthday. And then those that would like to uh, hang out with uh, the gurus, Matt, Lucas, etc., and have a little fun this Saturday, I would be tickled if you did. But I totally understand many of you guys have families, work, etc. I know we've got, let's see, we got uh, Beaner, Sam, Tanvi, Jan, uh, 78 Mama's uh, little one. We got a bunch of birthdays. Please show Ripple's email. Okay, there it is. Uh, and it does help when I show it. It saves me having to get a bunch of emails that I have to forward. Bobby's grandson, Pierce, is one today. <laughs> Balloons headed to Roswell. I like that one. Desert Sky's birthday. Happy birthday, Desert Sky. Balloon gurus. That would be fun, right? Let's see. I was watching a rerun of Hawaii Five-O, like the old Hawaii Five-O or the newer Hawaii Five-O, and they were talking about the Matrix, White Rabbit, and Goldback. That is cool. Allison, 27 today. Let me do it. So they tell me it's your birthday. Well, happy birthday, darling. May you live, may you love. All your dreams come true. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Uh, Nathan wants to know if I can pull up YouTube video of the explosion over Montana. Video was by a woman that had her phone available. I can pull it up, but I would not be able to play any audio with it without getting uh, a slap on the wrist from YouTube. Uh, but I will look for it. YouTube explosion over uh, Montana. Billings woman describes purported explosion she captured on video. Explosion in the sky. Uh, looks like we'll be able to do this one, guys, and just uh, turn off the volume. Pump up the volume, but we got to pump down the volume. Uh-huh. Wasn't this strange? Smoke trail headed down. Oh, she might be onto something here. Something may have been shot out of the sky. Ah, MTD2, one of my favorites. A sister publication for Epic Times. I will add that to today's links, guys. I will add that to today's links. There is Mr. Matt calling in. Uh, hey, Mike. How you doing? Good. How about yourself? 
good. I hope I didn't jump the gun. I had my hand by the phone, and all of a sudden my finger hit it, and all of a sudden, wham, called. Mm. Yeah. I like it. Are you ready? I I seen you were talking about the explosion, but anyway. Yeah, no, we were talking about the explosion. What do you think? Uh, You think they shot down one of our balloons, one of of those balloons, whether they were ours, China's, um, you know, CBD Gurus maybe was uh, to try to get better shipping, was now starting to use balloon drops for chocolate bars. I mean, I'm, what do you think it was? Uh, I I think those, truly, in my opinion, I think those balloons are protected. I think they're, you got a different police force, I hate to say it, running the world now. And uh, I don't know, to me, it's like you got, uh, you got the American guy sitting in the bar, he's still a big guy, but all the people surrounding him are just like, Oh, yeah, hold on. Hold, yeah. Hold, got, hold that thought. I got to get Lucas. Yeah. Aha, there it is. We now have Lucas and Matt. Hi, right, Lucas. Good morning, guys. Uh, did you want me to finish my thought, Mark? Yeah, finish your thought. Have at it. Keep going. Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. Oh, come on. No, I don't know. Do you want me to work or not? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, keep going. Oh, you got everybody okay. waiting now for the uh, for, okay, for, okay. For, for Matt's wisdom. Okay. I mean, this is the way I see it. You got the uh, bricks guys and you got the three heavyweights, super heavyweights on one side of the room. You got the Russian guy. He's huge. You got the Chinese guy. He's a giant, huge guy in a sumo outfit then you got the indian guy he's huge because he's got the big brain you know and then you got us sitting there when we're big but then the people we got surrounding us are getting weaker by the day you know kind of like i i I don't want to just come out and say it i mean but they're like almost like metrosexuals when it comes to the other side you know so i think the balloons floating around or whatever are like uh just trying to keep the peace, you know? That's what I'm thinking. Because I've heard there's other ones floating around the world, too. Mm-hmm. So, But anyways, yeah, so that's that. I mean, to me, it's just common sense. I mean, we're we're strong and everything, but they're trying to straighten up the world here. So I think this is part of it. I don't know what part of it it is. It's some part of it. So, yeah, I don't know. We don't want to get into that. Yeah, but all right. Anyway. We're going to get into something else first. Jenna said, I'm Danielle. I'm guessing Danielle's on the mom and dad's computer with them. I'm five and I really want the RV to happen so I can retire and play with my dad or so dad, my dad can retire and play with me all day. I love that thought. Think about how many uh, parents would get that opportunity. That would be awfully neat. Um, all right. How about you, Lucas? Speaking of retiring and playing with the kids all day, what do they have you doing today? Um, we're actually, uh, we, we looked this morning and the kids want to go to kind of like a little winter festival. Um, All right. So, uh, they're, they just got dressed and they're like, Hey, whenever you're done, you know, we'll be ready. So it's going to be, it's going to be pretty fun. They're going to have, uh, you know, some races and, you know, just having fires outside and, uh, kind of a lot of competitions for the kids. Of course, a lot of sweets. I feel like that's half of it. It's like we just want to, to like just pound our bodies full of like three pounds of sugar, get amped up, do a lot of games, run around a lot, and then crash, you know, around 2 p.m. Uh, perfect. I like the way that works. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm telling you, like I've played this game long enough. I feel like I have pretty good confidence in, in how this day is going to go. Oh, no, I like that one. Um, hey, and it's not a bad plan either. Mm, not at all, 100%. Um, but, uh, but yeah, that's, uh, that's going to be my day. It, it is unseasonably warm here. I shouldn't say unseasonably, but, uh, you know, we're going to be like mid-50s, uh, probably 60s tomorrow. So I have a little wow. bit of a warm front coming through. Yeah. Yeah, it's not, but we're looking at... We're, lo- we're looking at an absolute record buster going through, uh, was it hit tomorrow, guys, in uh, Northeast United States, uh, Maine, New Hampshire. They're looking at minus 50 
in some areas there. They're looking at uh, perhaps the coldest cold Arctic cold spell in recorded history uh, hitting them in the next day or two. So prayers for you guys. I'm uh, terrified of the number of people that we are going to hear about that froze to death or elderly or homeless. Um, it's uh, kind of scary. It is, it is, you know, and uh, I, I really, really, truly do feel that uh, we do not, as a community, and by community, I mean holistically, uh, really try to look out for the elderly as much as we should. Um, no, we I feel don't. like there's, you know, there is pockets, and we try to, but when I hear of, you know, elderly with dementia that are able to, like, get out of their homes, it's like, where's the rest of your family? Why are they not checking in on you? Why are the, why are your neighbors not taking care of you? Why, you know, and it's like why why are we as a community not making sure that we are you know kind of really exalting and taking care of the elderly? It's it's kind of frustrating. Yeah, I mean, it, it really is. Society. We've I, gotten. I, it's just not a sign of an intelligent, uh, you know, intelligent life. It's like we just want the elderly just you know, wander around, well, like, I don't know, it's almost like they were reverting back. Yep. No, I'm uh, with you. It is. It's like uh, everybody has suddenly become totally self-absorbed or soulless. They're no longer worried about, uh, it's almost like people are becoming some kind of emotionless robot. Like they just don't have a soul or something. Uh, I, I don't know how to describe it. Uh, but it is. It's like uh, it's like the whole world soul went to sleep. Yeah, I know, and and that's why you know I always check on that every morning and every night. You know, you got to check in on the elderly. You got to make sure they're okay. Yes, and uh, you know they're still uh, you know managing to take care of themselves. Especially when you know dementia is already setting in, and you've got to worry yeah. about them and make certain they made it home. Um, <laughs> You know, that's good to take care of the older people. You bet, man. Now that I'm older, for sure, take care of me, baby. Yeah. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, uh, you know, I'll be, I'll be hitting that youth bed pretty soon, anyway. So, anyway, no, but I'm all right. I'm, I don't feel that old. You know, Lucas even knows me. You know, I'm for an old guy. I can still, I'm ready to rumble at any time. I really am. You know, in any capacity, truthfully. You know, the only thing that. I, my left knee gives out a little bit, you know, but that's about it. So, yeah, everything's cool now. I, no, I like uh, it. You, you, you know, Mark, you, you speak of the whole robot and such, and uh, it made me think earlier to your conversation of a lot of people wanting to know about XRP and a lot of these, uh, maybe not all of them, but a lot of these cryptos and, you know, the RB and what's all kind of transposing. It would be interesting, and maybe you have already done this, but if you played around with any of the AI platforms, whether it be ChatGPT or ChatGPT, or I think there's like two others right now that are starting off, and to see what their responses are to uh, whether it be the, the crypto and kind of where it's going, or uh, you know, kind of the RV aspect as well. Uh, no, yeah, it, it's interesting because they don't have a filter. Like right now. They don't, they don't have a political affiliation. They don't have a motive in any of them. So a lot of what they put out is just solely information, what they see out there. Um, now, granted, they're saying that they're going to be able to give us information that is not out there and give us their own informed opinion, whatever the heck that means. Um, but uh, it, it should be interesting because I, uh, right now they're using it for stocks and for crypto. And, uh, yeah, they're seeing crazy increases because they're able to see patterns that we can't. You know, it is. It is uh, spooky. It is encouraging. It is scary. It is all those things at one time. I, I found Sonic GPT uh, is better than um, Chat GPT. Chat GPT, uh, they, it's only updated through, like, late 2020 as far as all information out there. And I have found that it has some filters. You have to kind of work around it and ask just in the right way. Whereas Sonic is up to date minute to minute, but it they, they charge you for Sonic. You get like so many free questions or queries and uh, to the AI, and then you have to pay from from there, or you can get a subscription for it. Neat stuff. 
Um, I'd have to look. Um, I've only only did the uh, free trial one just to uh, compare the two, and I found it to be because its information is more current. I found it to be because uh, it can go out and access anything. Um, I, I found it just to be a, a, a much more um, robust. Gotcha. Awesome. Hey, Lucas. Maybe I should give people a special there before they, because uh, I know I think there's pretty much everybody tuned, tuned in to see what the special was for the CBD. Yeah, well, I, I think you, I definitely think you should go to the special. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, before me and, me and Mark, typically guys, for people out there, we, uh, you know, being part of the CB Gurus, I'm the manufacturer and, and, Matt owns the brand, and we and we really brought this product or this brand uh, for the Mark C community. We do a lot of specials. Uh, we do a lot of wholesaling to uh, the, the community. And then we also create a lot of new products for you guys to test and then to give us feedback. And then we, you know, we kind of curtail the, the exact product uh, to meet the needs of the community. And uh, a lot of these Saturday shows, you know, we ask, you know, you guys can ask a lot of questions. Um, about CBD, hemp, cannabis as a whole, and we'll answer it for you. Uh, but then, you know, me and Mark, I typically go down some rabbit holes, um, and, and sometimes we come back to reality, and sometimes we don't. <laughs> so, um, it, it, you know, you know, sometimes you have to bear with us. So, uh, <laughs> well, I'll put that precursor out there. But, uh, no, Matt, like, tell them what the specials are, especially this weekend. Uh, I know that we have the water soluble back in uh, stuff. A lot of people are loving that, um, as well as the sleep gummies. That was a big one um, that uh, you know kind of went out. But yeah, you go ahead, Matt. Tell the specials, and then we'll continue down our uh, dark rabbit hole. Um, yeah, yeah, no problem. I just wanted to point it out, you know, just before you know people they're so busy and you know the weekend they start peeling out on us. So, well, anyways, um, when you get into the you go to the CBD gurus, T H E C B D G U R U S dot com, and then you just uh, you go in and um, you go to Mark C Wholesale, and you put in uh, lowercase K R A M C B D, and then K R A M. That's Mark backwards. So that was the first time I used that when I was talking in the field with Mark. But anyway. Um, it's K R A M C B D, and uh, yeah, when we were talking in the field the first time I went out with Mark, it, the reception was just terrible. But anyways, it was it's working out better now. But anyway, so you go in to check, you know, hit weekly specials. You don't even have to hit it; you just automatically get in there, and it says check out our specials below. Must be a wholesale buyer. And then I had Scotty this morning put in there because without health, there is no need for wealth. So in other words, um, yeah, get, you know, I'm not trying to preach to you, but I got to do it myself. Just try to be as healthy as you can, because if you're, you know, if you're waiting for the dough and everything, and which everybody is at time here, you know, you're going to be doing something good with it. So you're kind of like a, a soldier, you know, just trying to be the best sheep you can or a player on a team, you know, not like, you know, just don't sit and kick back and wait for the dough and then. You know, you're just going to go in and, and just, you know, just use it all on yourself. And actually, it's for, to help everybody else, truthfully, because their world's kind of screwed up. I mean, it ain't that screwed up, but it's screwed up, you know. But anyways, okay, so starting uh, today at 9.30 Central, I'm just reading it here. Every 25 order, not counting postage, receives 1 million Boulevard, and you get a max of 10 million at uh, 175. And then uh, you get... 20,000 dong for any order. I thought I'd throw that in there because the dong is the dong. You know, it's supposed to be worth some money there. But anyways, at 100, not including uh, shipping, you get two 12-count immunity packages. So that's 24 soft gels. And uh, we ran out of the bottles till I think we're going to be short of those for a week here, but we're getting back in. It just takes time. Um, so then at 175, you just keep going up the line. You get uh, a bottle of gummies if you want to go that high up on your order, 20 count CBG gummies. So it's kind of a theme. The free items today are the CBG, CBD and stuff. And then you also get at $50, if you just want to go that far, 
you get four or five hundred dinars free. And, uh, you know, and I know everybody has questions about the boulevard, but don't worry. That's the one I just, I set aside and everything. I got other currencies to set aside. So if they, for whatever reason, get in there and say, hey, man, these boulevards ain't as worth enough. I just throw the rest of my stack in there, you know, a currency for the resort deal. Because uh, anytime you buy, um, since I think it's last May, just one product, you qualify. I mean, if you do more products and buy, you qualify that much more exponentially. So you just um, go in there and order stuff. And we've got, uh, see, we got the new Roshan in there, the 2000. That stuff is great. Oh, it That's is. Stuff. Yeah. Did you try it, Mark? Oh, God, yes. I've become a huge fan. Oh, okay. Some more of that right away. Yeah, and I've got um, the uh the what is it, vanilla oatmeal or something like that? Vanilla oatmeal. Love it. Oh, okay, good, good. Yeah, it's good stuff. I mean, uh I mean our paint cream is really good, but I, I would consider this equal to that. The paint cream's a little bit different. It's got a little bit of a, what is it, menthol focus in there kinda? You don't wanna put it in your eyes or anything, right? You don't want to put it in your eyes and get it around your face because it, it, it can, uh, it, it'll definitely burn. Yeah. You know, yeah. It, 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 and that's why we did, uh, you know, kind of the lotions and stuff um, so that if people wanted to put it around their neck and, and eyes, you know, or face rather, um, that they could use something else that doesn't have uh, the menthol in it. Yeah. But anyways, um, so, yeah, when you get anything in the specials, I mean, we'll go down the line. We got the uh, free chocolate, Delta chocolate bars. Those have been selling pretty good, 100 milligrams, free for 50 bucks. Um, we got the super immunity in there. The soft gels are out of stock temporarily, although you get them with the order at 100 bucks. But you can buy the super immunity bottle if you need that. I just want everybody to be stocked up for the super immunity and immunity until the end of winter until go a lot till the sun starts coming out again all over the u.s i know you guys in the south get sun but two-thirds of the country doesn't get much sun to kill all the germs so this will help you all out um let's see what else we got going there i lost my train of thought but anyways we got just specials tons of them going down the line we got pet oil starting at nine bucks we got uh got weight loss at 25 if you need that we got tablets cbd tablets those are great for settling any stomach problems 20 bucks um you just see them just go right down the line you can see them all and then uh yeah that's it for uh the specials you guys so take some questions huh get these people but I remember without help there is no need for well how's that sound that's my battle cry so um one and, and I, I'm going to start the first one out because uh, Debbie's been asking for a while, and this is one that I know what I did. Just said, I ordered the Miracle Gold for pain, and it worked. The only thing is it makes my throat burn worse, and I've had bad acid reflux. Any suggestions on another item that would work? Uh, Debbie, I found that the Miracle Gold is awesome, but I have to do it right before a warm liquid. So what I do is I'll do my Miracle Gold and then start drinking my coffee. And that cured that same problem. I was having that kind of a stomach upset, a uh, burning throat, and I started doing it that way, whether that's hot tea, whether that's because of the oil in it, I guess. It just seems to make it break down lovely and quit having any problem. I would try that before I tried something else. My thoughts. How about you? What do you think of my idea, Lucas? Yeah, yeah. If you're having uh, some acid reflux because of it, um, definitely try to you know chase it with something. Um, and if it does continue, then you probably, you know, if you're super, super sensitive, um, then, uh, you know, if you're definitely going for pain, you know, maybe switch over to like a, you know, the super full spectrum tinctures, um, that may help a little bit. You know, one thing we could do, Mark, is maybe do some black seed in a gummy, but man, it's just, it is such a pungent taste. Um, it works really well and has amazing characteristics, but uh, like I get it, you know, it's just one of those things where it's super, super rough. Or we can just do it in a potential in a pill form. Um, it's just hard uh, to kind of go about it in different areas. But um, at any rate, uh, yeah, I, I would suggest trying to chase it with something. I, I always 
people like you, I always take it before my coffee, and then I just drink my coffee, and I'm fine. And that's what I've done, and it's been great. Can Go I ahead, man. Something up I brought up to Lucas the other day. You guys said that was pretty interesting. Um, I was I was doing some uh, reading on some stuff, and they were talking about CBD, right? Um, right when you take it, it actually um, gives your heart like a workout, like you're almost doing a mini workout. And uh, and I think it's true because when I use that black seed oil, I'll uh, all of a sudden, you know, sometimes I, I'm not going to lie to you, but I don't recommend it. I can use CBG or any of that stuff at night and still go to sleep, you know, because I just might take something else. But I'd wake up in the morning and my feet would be a little bit clammy. And I think it had something to do with after I took it, it got my heart going, you know. Mm-hmm. And I'm just saying it's almost like an exercise. Remember we were talking about that the other day, Lucas? And I didn't even know that was happened, but it's like an exercise as your heart did right at the beginning. You see what well, I'm saying? It does good. It is going to give you a, uh, you know, a little bit of energy. So it is going to burn um, a little bit of calories. Right now, Mark, there's a study going on with CBG and really increasing your mitochondria and ability uh, to process process more calories uh, to kind of work a little bit harder. So they are seeing they they are seeing that uh, you know obviously this is a preemptive study. They're still working on a few things. But uh, good, really high quality black seed oil, um, especially the full strength stuff, um, is actually showing a little bit of uh, substantial amount of weight loss mm. um, in people who are just taking it uh, versus a placebo. So it'll be interesting to see when that study is released. Uh, they're predicting it'll be the end of this year, of course, right? Like it's always, yeah. extent, which I'm, I'm glad they did. Um, I'm glad that they go through the steps and I'm glad that they take the time to do it correctly. Um, I'm not going to go into my frustration with uh, certain case studies that took less than a month to procure, uh, especially when they put it into our bodies uh, in the last two years. But um, I think it's very, very important that, uh, you know, that these people that are doing these case studies go through the proper steps. I'm with you on that one. Um... What else have we seen in here, question-wise? Uh, Kukla said, Matt, send her some lotions. Um, okay, I will. I've had more questions, but then they uh, they went by during uh, that last one. Um, so I'm trying to find, is there caffeine in the weight loss product? Yes, or anything else can increase your heart rate. Uh, you want to tackle that one? Yeah, it's, it's not a lot of uh, caffeine. And it's derived from uh, green tea. So it's going to be, it's definitely not going to, you're not going to see the spike, um, you know, in a lot of a lot of weight loss pills. Uh, what they do is they use an extensive amount of caffeine and they use anhydrous. So it's, it's very strong caffeine and, it, you know, you start to kind of feel dizzy and, you know, you can uh, definitely experience you know, the, the higher caffeine. I do not like that, um, the higher caffeine stuff. And so this is definitely a lower dose. And it's, uh, you know, obviously derived from green tea. So it's going to, you're, you're going to see more of a leveling out more rather than a spike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> DD said, how about putting the Miracle Gold in a large soft gel? That's not a bad idea. Because uh, then they could just, you know, it would take longer for it to dissolve. So it'd be further down the intestinal tract or freeze them. Guys, if you're taking any oils like that, uh, I have found uh, doctors suggested that I freeze my uh, fish oils or my D, yeah, D3s or whatever, the oils, uh, that I freeze them and then take those uh, pills so that you don't like burnt fish juice uh, because then it dissolves in the um, small intestine instead of in the stomach so you don't burp it. Uh, it might not be a bad idea on that uh, Miracle Gold. Gosh, Mark, I, I'm telling you what, man, that fish oil, like burping that stuff up. It's rough. Like, it just, it is super rough. <laughs> I mean, I don't know many things that are rougher. Um, and, and so this is a great <clears throat> kind of question. We're kind of leading into this is that, you know, we do uh, the powder for people to put in their shakes or, you know, CBD and CBG, higher potencies of it. 
uh, we mixed it with collagen because people are already taking a large amount of collagen. Collagen is great um, to take on a daily basis. And so we put it in the powder and used it as our main mixture instead of MCT. Uh, and so a lot of people were asking, hey, what kind of collagen do you use? And I'm like, well, I'm only using bovine collagen. One, because it's, it's almost tasteless. Uh, so you don't get the taste. And people are like, oh, but what about fish? Or what about egg collagen? Or, you know, all this. And I'm like, guys, have you ever had fish or egg collagen? Like, I literally, like, dry heat in my mouth. Like, <laughs> it is horrendous <laughs> to, to eat. And so it's like, you know, you, you want to be able to get the benefit, but you don't want to start taking stuff that is so bad that you're, like, literally throwing up after you eat it. Um, you know, you don't really get the benefit that way. So, um, you know, just, uh, just, you know, don't read everything online where it's like, oh, this is great. Yeah, it's great. If you can even keep it down. Yeah, that's why you shouldn't eat green beans, guys, because you just won't be able to keep it down. <laughs> you don't like green beans? Ah, they're nasty. <laughs> really? All right. Oh, man. <laughs> More questions. Uh, one question that I that I'm getting and everybody's spamming me is uh, anything for shingles, and then I've got some other specific ones. Shingles, I mean, it's viral, so I would imagine CBGA or the immunity. Well, I mean, what do you think on that one? Maybe Miracle Gold. Your thoughts? I actually think uh, the Miracle Gold or or applying rather the uh, the Super Immunity Tincture. You're right with the CBGA and CBGA. They're both acids. Um, I actually, I'd probably for singles combine the two, but Matt, maybe you can answer this because, you know, you kind of had really a bad bout with, uh, shingles, um, and was able to get it taken care of pretty quickly. Yeah. I use the, uh, I use the miracle gold mostly. I use my regular, um, regime of CB or, uh, CBD products, you know, and all that stuff. Um, I think if I did it over again, if I didn't get it, I, I don't know if you do get it a second time, um, I would probably use a little bit more uh, THC for the pain, you know, but I didn't use probably as much as I should have there. Um, yeah, the miracle goal, you know, with the CBG, um, at the, you know, we were just starting to get into the, uh, the uh, CBG and CBD, I think that really would have helped I'm guessing quite a bit because, you know, that product, it's what's it called? The blood brain barrier focus. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that would have probably got through to those germs, those, uh, the uh, shingles germs a lot better. I'm guessing. Yeah. And then there's an over the counter thing. So if you, if you get it right away, go and get that over the, it's some sort of just, uh, some remedy they've been using for years, you know, but get it away, the longer you wait, the worse it's going to get, the harder to get it up. But yeah, I would think that uh, the immunity product would help because that would probably start killing the bad cells that are spreading, I'm guessing, because it kills any bad cell from spreading like that, right, Lucas? Is that right? Yeah, this is, like, the CBGA and CBDA being antiviral, I think it'd be the best bet um, and then the hard part is, is like a lot of people want to apply it to the skin, but, uh, it may actually work ingesting it as well as putting it on the skin. I think that the results would be pretty good. But, you know, something that people don't really talk about is exactly what you said, is, uh, the pain that's associated with it. And I agree, like taking like a, like either the super full gummy or the, uh, super full spec tincture, uh, depending on how much THC you want, uh, I will definitely help with that and it'll help with the inflammation too you see a lot of the added benefits that you don't really think about you're like oh i'm just taking this for pain and then you notice that there's a crazy amount of inflammation loss as well yeah no a lot yeah. of inflammation goes with it yeah. yeah but that makes a lot of people out there but i um uh, you know I, I wouldn't take no i was just going to say a bad word there but i wouldn't take the shot they were pushing on me for it at all i don't think <laughs> Yeah, consult your doctor if you have any questions, always, on anything health-related. Yeah, yeah, consult those guys that spent their college days just drinking like fish. I'm just kidding. You know, what, what? They were the biggest partiers I've ever seen. 
Holy shit. Yeah, so, uh, hey, Matt, what do you call the doctor uh, that had the lowest grade point average in the class that graduated? Uh, doctor, lowest grade point average in the class? A, a veterinarian? A no, veterinarian? no, you still, you still call him doctor. Oh God, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. All right, yeah. we got to keep answering some questions because we're going to lo lose Lucas to a winter festival soon. Uh, Lisa, Lisa, not sure if I'm having muscle spasms in my calf or if I'm having sciatica. Any suggestions? Would you treat just the area of the calf, pain rub, cream? What, what, what do you guys think for that one, or what do you think, Lucas? Man, the, the pain rub, but, uh, you know, something for, for really strong, like maybe do the uh, the roll-on. I mean, people really, really love the roll-on, um, and it, it definitely gets in a little bit, uh, it, you know, it's more of an icy hot feeling, um, you know, with the added benefit of the, you know, the cannabinoids as well. So um, I'd probably do a, you know, kind of just get that roll-on and just kind of massage, uh, especially with that ball on the end. Uh, be able to kind of use that ball and, and massage it into uh, your calf. Mm. All right, Sergio, anything for crow's eyes, dark circles, or wrinkles? Ooh. Wrinkles in the face? Yes. I don't know if you got anything like, you know, the, a collagen product. You know, a collagen product with CBD probably would be a... Uh, Truthfully, I would just... Uh, there's so many out there. Take a drop of CBD, put it in your fingertips, and rub it in your face, and just let it sit there for a half hour while you walk around the house. Let it soak in, you know, and then don't go outside like that, but wash it off. So then your skin just, your face just got that good oil. I mean, which would be a good dropper for that one, Lucas? Because I've done it with a bunch of them, you know? You know, I mean, you got to kind of be careful because you don't want it to get in your eye. Um, I actually probably would think that would be, uh, um, with the, the Miracle Gold, uh, crazily. Um, and you may want to be able to put a little bit of, uh, but I think with the, not so much the CBG, but with the, the black seed oil, um, I think that could show significant increase uh, or rather decrease of that. But I think, like to Mark's point, taking the collagen, uh, the powder, you know, every day, you know, I think a lot more people are getting into uh, whether it be not really protein, but no replacement shakes or... Um, just like a nice, uh, you know, fruit smoothie or something. Putting it into that and getting your your intake of collagen up um, is definitely going to help with that as well. Um, got some really interesting ones going here. Uh, for, first things, dog treats. Uh, any progress on dog treats? Yeah, well, uh, I, you know I got I to gotta talk to my packaging guy. Like I said, he was at like some world pickleball tournament and he was doing other things and stuff like that. So I just, I, you know what? I'm going to make it a point to get him out by um, oh, next weekend for sure. I said it was going to be this weekend, but we just didn't make it. You know, it's only, we're just not a huge company. If I, I mean, we're, I mean, if I had the guy that, that was he was around all the time, you know, and I could get him to do it, the packaging, the label, but I'll get him out there, I promise you. I got the product, I just gotta get it out there. So but it's these labels sometimes slow you down in this business. And hopefully I'm trying to get that fixed more and more all the time. We got a label guy full time now, so but like I said he was at the pickleball tournament, you know. Um, all right, here's that. Here's here's a good one because kind of melatonin. Certain things your body stops producing as much cannabinoids. Your body produces some cannabinoids, 
Uh, Lou Thader asking Lucas, what's your opinion of Andrew Hoverman's take on indigenous cannabinoids and how CBD will attach to the receptors before the natural ones? It could slow the natural production when used constantly. Uh, also, there might be a problem with young developing brains. THC, there is a problem with young developing brains. Um, go ahead, Lucas. You want here's, here's a fun one for you to jump on to. Yeah, so it's interesting, you know, people talk about the uh, the natural cannabinoids or uh, rather, you know, people don't realize that there are cannabinoids in other things other than cannabis. Um, you know, other foods that we eat, especially a lot of the, uh, or, you know, a few of the vegetables out there um, actually produce to some degree some cannabinoids. But, but the thing is, I think that the research out there, especially from the Shulam and uh, uh, Akeley and who the other guy is, um, has shown that at least those two, especially in the Shulam, has shown that the natural uh, cannabinoids that are present in other vegetables and other foods um, are, they hit the receptors, but there's not enough concentration to be an actual felt effect. Now, I, I don't really know what he means by a felt effect, um, and it may just be a legitimate effect of like having an actual benefit, where, whereas cannabis is so prevalent with the higher potency and the higher amount, obviously, of all the cannabinoids, it's allowed to hit your receptors and that your receptors can fire. Um, so, I don't know, Mark. I, I mean, I think there's a lot of inclusive data and research out there, but I think the majority of it will show that by taking cannabis, um, whether it be hemp or marijuana, either or, um, is going to actually activate your uh, receptors, um, both your one and two receptors, as opposed to uh, just relying on the natural cannabinoids you eat your food. And I think we see that, right? Like, if, if we would have already had... Um, the natural receptors already firing, we would, I think, we have already seen a big benefit, but we didn't until mm. really 2017, 2018, when hemp started to be legal, and we started, or we were able to start intaking, and you know, all of these hemp products, so the uptake, and then people were like, oh my goodness, like you know, like my pain, my inflammation all of this started to decrease. It's like, well, why didn't that happen before if there were already natural cannabinoids present um, for the receptors to start picking up? So I think that there is something to be said about a higher degree or a higher potency and concentration of cannabinoids being present for your receptors so that the uptake um, can actually start firing in your endocannabinoid system. Yeah. Lucas, can I add something to that, Lucas and Mark? And the, the little bit of reading I've done or watch videos, it would be like, remember the the, the um, CBD and all that stuff to get out there is already squeezed out of the plant. And I think it was the closest vegetable to even get like a dropper full from a 3,000 milligram bottle. You'd have to eat like 200 pounds or something. It's just not that much out there and other things you can eat or anything. And remember, our stuff is, um, how do you say it, Lucas, refined down where it's the, the pure part of it put into um, the uh, MCT oil or the hemp oil to water it down a little bit, right, Lucas? Yeah, I mean, and that's the whole thing is that we're just extracting out, you know, the cannabinoids uh, instead of you just going out and gnawing on a, you know, a hemp plant, um, which, you know, I mean, I'm trusting, I've, I've seen people do that. Um, nonetheless, but, uh, yeah, I think there's something definitely to be said, um, about, uh, you know, using an extracted version to be able to kind of capitalize upon, um, you know, kind of getting the most amount of cannabinoids you can, uh, just so that you can activate your endo endocannabinoid system the best way. Yeah, no, that's what we're all trying to do, right? It's just being able to help our body process and, and utilize uh cannabinoids the best way we can so we can get the greatest benefit i mean after everything said and done i mean i feel like that's what we're all trying to do uh yeah well i mean you think about the food supply even 100 years ago before reefer madness and that pushed outlaw it was a major staple 
Um, it was used for feeding animals, feeding chickens, feeding cows, feeding livestock. I mean, it was it was part of our dietary circle for, you know, it's one of the only plants specifically named uh, that God gave man. So when they took it out, I mean, we were getting a lot of these things. We were just getting them a little more naturally uh, in the past. And now they're not in our diet, just like so many nutrients that have been so many of the uh, big production farms is just not in our food anymore. And I and I think there's a there's a huge group out there that wants to uh, say it's available and other things just to get you thrown off where it's really at. It's like like let's go let's go a hundred miles away and mine gold and get a one hundredth of an ounce, or let's just pick something up off the desk that would be ten pounds of gold. Okay. Let's go for the easy thing, everybody. You know what I mean? Don't go eat 200. I can just see some article coming out brought on by some company, you know, that advertises products that are trying to compete with this. Oh, yeah, you can get you can uh, get something out of an avocado. And then the fine print says you have to eat 500 pounds of avocado to get one dropper full. You know, it's... Hey, it's look, fine. I like avocados, so I'm down. <laughs> anybody that think that it's out there in other foods the way it is the way it's sold like this because it isn't it just trust me it isn't well and and that's okay like you know that like it's good and and that's and i think the point to take away from this is that to really activate your cannabinoid system you really need cannabis in some form again hemp or marijuana um granted most states are you know it's more side or side toward hemp um just because of legality but, uh, you know, this is where it's important to be able to uh, have the uptake of the cannabinoids through cannabis, through hemp, and then also at the same time, eat healthy. Eat your avocados, eat your green vegetables. Like, stop, you know, trying to make 90% of your diet processed. You know, and I think that's, you know, the other point of this whole show that we try to, you know, convey and get across is we want people to take care of themselves. You know, not just it's not just about taking CBD and cannabis, but it's it's holistically trying to make yourself the best version that you can through eating right, exercising, um, and the cannabis side of it really elevates that ability uh, for you to kind of give yourself the help that you need. Again, to that point, you know, without without help, you know, wealth is irrelevant. Um, and uh, here, let me. I guess here's something else that's really important that's going to come about real quick here. When they pass that farm bill, okay, THC in the edible form up to basically 15 milligrams, which is a good, great dose. I mean, five milligrams is a great dose, 10, but there's some people that want a little bit more, okay? It's out there. It's a lot of land, okay? And, and as far as I know, to change a law like that, You'd have to get the states, don't they have to ratify it to come back? So that's a lot of the land. It's going to stay the law of the land. Okay. So now, who's behind legalizing smoke, right? You got to think about this, okay? To get the THC in the smoke now that they want to legalize everywhere, which is fine. But everybody's got to know one thing. When you smoke uh, marijuana or hemp or whatever, you got almost a five times if you're over I think it's 45 chance of having a heart attack and heart attack. Isn't that the biggest kill in the U S so now it, it, we got it in edibles, which is great and everything. I'm not kidding. Anybody can do what they want. They can smoke, but it's, you got a five times less chance of dying of a heart attack over 45. If you take it in the edible form, that's all I'm saying. Yeah. I'm going to have to do some, I'm going to do a little bit of a deep dive. That's an interesting one. Um, all right. We get, Lucas, before we lose you, what's the difference between HHC and CBD? Oh, HHC is a uh, form of THC, and I'm going to put it in that category, even though some of my colleagues would wholeheartedly disagree with me. Um, HHC is a derivative of Delta 8. So HHC is a derivative of Delta 8. It does have a lot of characteristics of Delta-8, 
um, and you will get, like, obviously taking enough of it, uh, and especially in, you know, decent dosages, 25 milligram and up, um, you are going to get the, you know, that psychoactive felt effect. Whereas CBD is a natural cannabinoid found in hemp um, that is going to kind of the, the majority of what hemp is kind of based around. I, I, it's a really broad question. <laughs> so there's a broad answer. Uh, but, you know, no psychoactive with CBD, uh, definitely psychoactive uh, HHC. Uh, yeah, definitely. All right. Uh, we should probably start wrapping up so you can get to uh, the kids. Thank you guys. And thank you, the gurus, period. They make so much of this uh, possible. That's why I'm so excited to uh, go long on Saturdays to share the the industry. Um, but they've just been life changing for the podcast to be able for me to be able to put in a lot more hours each week into it and more information for you guys. So uh, thank you, fellas. Yeah, yeah, thanks a lot, Mark, and uh, I appreciate it. I just, uh, it's kind of cool to be doing this because I, I think of where we came from uh, two and a half, three years ago with Lucas and you, Mark, and, and where I know Lucas is going with his partners in the next two years. I mean, Lucas, man, he's doing his guys at three years from now. <laughs> this stuff is going to be everywhere, and, and that means everybody's health is going to be getting a little bit better. It's kind of cool. It's kind of cutting edge, you know. It's pretty good stuff. So, yeah, thanks, Mark. And hey, everybody, go to thecbdgurus.com. Go to Mark C. Wholesale. Put in lowercase K R A M C B D and just order away. And uh, we got the guys working today, so we're going to get the orders out and get them over to the post office hopefully today. Okay. All right. Thank you guys tremendously. Yeah. Thanks, Mark. All right. Have All right. a great day. You too, man. Thanks, Lucas. Take care. All right, guys, that was uh, the illustrious CBD Guru's Kukla the Pillowcase. That is too funny, too funny. I'll lean on Matt to start joining from computer, and that would increase the audio tremendously. We have problems with audios anytime somebody uses phone for call in instead of uh, joining via the uh, studio and internet. Wish I could get Mr. C on that one too, because we often have those sound issues. Um, I'll work on that one. Guys, I'll, uh, Matt keeps threatening to. We'll just uh, we'll push him a little harder, see if we can get him to uh, do it that way. Lucas, depending on where he's at, he likes joining us by computer. I like it when they do because uh, then you can see him. Sound is better, all those things. The password is K-R-A-M-C-V-D, all lower case, what Kuklet said there. All right, news continues to stay really well over the uh weekend if there's anything big i will tweet or truth first and come back have uh or just have kukla put it in telegram if it's not is there something else i can help with no siri you don't need to do anything um sorry watch is talking to me i'm being spied on willingly i guess uh, but I would definitely use the Telegram room. If you don't know where to find our Telegram links for the ones that are actually officially us, just go to the original Mark Z. You'll see the little Telegram thing right there. Click it. It will give you links to all of the uh, ones community chat discussion. Uh, where do you? Where would you put it? You would probably stick it in community chat and discussion room link. My guess, Kukla. But if there's any news that is uh, meaningful but not enough for a podcast, that is where we would squeeze it. Uh, Siri, cue ball. Siri is the one listening in, not Alexa. All right, guys. Oh, yeah, noon Monday, noon podcast on Monday, noon Eastern. I'm glad you said that, Harold. Thank you, Kukla. Thank you, all mods. See you guys.